Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ali. Today's topic of discussion is the devil's plan. I don't know, something about the word devil is like scary. Someone from the comments, when we were watching Love After Divorce, we were watching it together, we were commenting, we were talking, we were discussing. They were like, hey, are you watching the devil's plan? I was like, ooh. If you're watching it and you were watching Love After Divorce and you liked it, and you like the devil's plan, I trust you. I trust you. So I gave it a shot. I liked episode one. I liked episode two. But let me tell you my thoughts. Because I got them. I got them right here. It was a little rough. It was a little rough at the beginning. It was a little rough. Someone else, someone else in the comments. <laughs> and this person always comes. Guys, I remember your username. Someone went into the comments and was like the devil's plan is unwatchable i'm like okay i don't want to be disappointed i really don't want to be disappointed after she's the wolf i was like my time is precious guys watching a tv show maybe an episode's an hour long it takes a while i was like oh i hope i hope my time is not wasted i gave it a shot though because i trust you i trust my viewers i'm like okay I'm going to do this. I was confused at first. Can someone tell me if you agree or disagree? I did not know that it was a reality TV show. I thought it was like a Squid Games. I watched Squid Games. Raise up your hand if you watch Squid Games. I liked it. I liked Squid Games a lot. So I was watching the show. I did read the description. The description said it was a reality TV show. Okay. Check mark. Got it. I kind of feel like I know what I'm getting into. And then I'm watching episode one. But I thought... That it was a scripted reality TV show. Is that weird? I don't know if anyone else got the vibe. Like when the first person came into the house and the second person came into the house. And they're like, oh, hey, another person came into the house. I don't know. I thought they were acting. I thought they were acting. And then I figured it out. I figured it out. So I had to keep watching it and I figured it out. Oh, it's a reality TV show. And they play games. Mental mind games. And there's a winner. And people get eliminated. That's all you have to remember right now. I might reference the cast to their occupation just for now until I start learning their names. The first game comes up. The first game comes up. What was with all the talking? I was like, I almost stopped watching. Actually, you know what? I actually stopped watching for a little bit. I paused because the rules were too much for me. I was like this. Okay. Okay, I'm consuming. And I'm a person who is... I like to just keep going and maybe I will learn as I go. And that was the strategy. I did it. I did it. I did it. In the end, I did it. Okay. But prior to actually getting it, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching the show. All I'm talking about in my head is what the heck is this person talking about? What the heck is this person with a mask talking about? I'm like, okay, maybe if I just watch them play the game, I will understand. Because I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. I felt kind of silly. I felt kind of... So I'm watching it, and it gets good. It gets good. I was so happy that I stuck through it. I was so happy. A disclaimer! This video contains spoilers. Don't blame me. But also, in the comments, try not to spoil it for me, because then I'll freaking cry. I'll freaking cry. I realized when I was watching it, I kept thinking, oh my god, too many rules, too many rules. And then I realized when I was watching She's the Wolf, I'm like, what are the rules? What are the freaking rules? <laughs> and then I'm watching, I'm watching The Devil's Plan. I'm like, this is too much. It's too many rules. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. I don't want to watch. <laughs> right off the bat, specifically, I did not like Dong Che. I did not like Dong Che. I'm talking quietly just because I don't want to yell. I feel like I've been yelling at you. I don't want to yell at you. Okay? I'm not angry. Maybe I'm angry. Maybe I'm angry at Dong Jae. <laughs> oh, Siwon, Lee Siwon, she was the first terrorist. And we discovered that she was the first terrorist. I forget why. I'm so sorry. I forget why. Why did we figure that out? Oh, yeah. They thought she was suspicious because she took the guy who ended up being the officer... She took him, linked arms with him, and then we found out that he got the virus. So then people were like, oh shit, it's Lee C1. It's Lee C1. 
And then also the girl who was a journalist called up and was like, oh shit, Lisi wants a terrorist, started telling everyone about it. And then she went and she was killed off because Lisi Wan was like, girl, I can tell that you're talking about me. I don't like it. And it was obvious that she was a terrorist. So it's cut off. What I liked about the show was that closer to the ending of the game, we see footage that we didn't see earlier. So we find out that the terrorists were able to do this hand movement to someone that they wanted to kill off. And they had to do that for three seconds, trying to make sure that no one else can see it. And we see that Lee Siwan did that to the journalist while she was holding her water bottle, which was really smart, I thought. Dong J, I don't like Dong J. And the difference between Lee Siwan and Dong J is that I think I was seeing more of Lee Si Wan afterwards and she seems like a genuine person, like a nice, kind person. And Dong Jae just seems really greedy. Something about this show, I get it. Love After Divorce is, is a dating show. That's why Harim is out there dating. That's why everyone is out there dating. Okay, they're trying to find someone. This is a game show where they're trying to win money and try not to get eliminated. What I find with this show is that I feel like we jumped in so quick into this game where they're supposed to be manipulative. They're supposed to be lying. They're supposed to be winning all these pieces. But because I don't know the contestants that well, we jump right into them being like greedy and wanting to win. And I just It's hard for me to root for the person who just really wants to win, like Dong Jae. Like Dong Jae. Lee Si Wan was talking to her roommate who is a professional sports player. I forget what sport it is. And she's saying like, she's saying what her feelings are. And I feel that I see the human side of Lee Si Wan. But for Dong Jae, I think that they edited it too much where I just think that he's a nasty person. I'm sorry. Tell me what you think in the comments below. He seems like a good player, but he just seems so greedy. And then in my mind, I'm like, you know what? It's a game. They're supposed to be getting these pieces. I get why he's being greedy. I just don't know if I can root for him. I don't know if I can root for him. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Am I crazy for not liking Dong Jae? Tell me what you think about the travel YouTuber and and the officer. The officer is pretty cute. He's pretty cute. Might keep watching because of the officer. He's cute. Dong Jae is a good player just because he ended up being a fanatic, but also he can be a team player because the fanatic should have been gone the first round, but because he had an alliance with Lee Si Wan and the white guy. I'm so sorry. What is the white guy's name? Guillaume. 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 He is actually a trustworthy alliance member just because him being a fanatic. Him getting out earlier on in the game would have given him more points or like those pebble pieces. But because he had that alliance, he wanted to stay and help his alliance members so that the terrorists of the game would survive for longer. Okay, I get that respect in Dong Jae. I give, I give him respect for that. Good for him. Something about Dong Jae and like... I think it's also because I don't really know him, his character through the show. They don't really have camera footage of him being a good human being, but he's a good player. So what do we think about the two contestants who got voted off to be in jail? Seo Yu Min, the girl who freaking saw, she saw Girme. Girme. Guys, the white guy. I'm sorry. Can we call him the white guy? Guillaume. The girl who saw him going like this. And she didn't say anything. She didn't say anything. When when I saw that footage and she was like, yeah, like I saw him do that. Maybe you deserve to be in jail. Maybe you deserve to be where you are. 
Because you had that information. You saw that right in front of your face and you didn't tell no one. You deserve to be there. You deserve to be there. You're right. They're right. They voted you off because you didn't really do much. I would have to agree. What do you think? Without spoiling. Without spoiling. To those who already know, just stop. Just stop. Or at least make the comments pretend that you didn't see it, okay? Just be like, well, I think the puzzle pieces mean this. <laughs> but don't tell me that you actually watched it and then spoil it, okay? Or else I'll be scared to read the comments. Also, Sang Kwang looks like he belongs in like a boy group. No? What? Let me see. Oh, that's why. Oh, I'm just, I just had my laptop on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, he does belong in a boy group. I was like, his face looks very beautiful. Tell me what you think those puzzle pieces mean. Because the journalist ended up taking out the pieces. This is what I think is going to happen. Obviously, the people in jail are going to have an advantage. I think they're going to have some kind of answer for the next game. And for the preview, Dong J looks stressed. He looks stressed. His alliance was all like sweating and he was yelling. So I'm excited. I'm excited to watch episode three. I think the people in jail are going to have some kind of advantage. They might have the answers to a question. Last question for you. Last question for you because I have thoughts about this. What do we think about Orbit kind of telling everyone what to do? Orbit's like, everyone, everyone, I think we should always let the same people get the same puzzle pieces. What? Maybe I don't know what the rules are too clear. Why does he want everyone to advance further on without eliminations as much as possible? Okay. And what do you think about Orbit saying those comments while the game is happening? Just because I feel feel the other contestants i feel their energy where it's like what the frick are you talking about like i also want pieces too but then they're not speaking up i just felt that so deep i felt that so deeply Lee Siwan was saying to her roommates that it's not guaranteed that these people will share their pieces so what do we think about that i think orbit has a big head physically and also mentally He's very like, he he knows his science stuff. I can't lie about that. He knows his science stuff. But I do I like that about him? I don't know. He can kind of seem annoying. He seems kind of annoying. I like it when they're honest with each other. Because the scene where... Orbit says, oh yeah, we could give the pieces to the people in jail. See, again, what's Orbit's obsession with having all these people go on to the next round or something? Can you tell me? Because I just, I think I missed that part in the, in the rules. I love when Jay calls out to Orbit. I love how freaking honest Dong Jay is. Maybe I'll like him more as like a human, but characteristics, it comes and goes. Sometimes I like him, sometimes I don't. Right now, I'm just like... I just think of him as a greedy human being, but also a winning human being. And winners win. He didn't like when Orbit was saying that they can give pieces to the people in jail. And Orbit's like, whoa, whoa, it was just an idea. We don't have to do it. It was just an idea. What do we think about Orbit's dictatorship? Tell me what you think. I'm really excited to watch episode three. I'm going to watch it tonight. I will see you guys in my next video. Please comment because... I don't know if I'm getting the rules right. I actually don't know if I'm... I don't... Please correct me if I'm wrong. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.